Hi, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'll explain the levels function as simply as possible. Let's go. Your grayscale image has 256 shades. Zero is pure black, 255 is pure white. Picture a steak gauge. Left is burnt, right is raw. Levels gives you two output caps, not on-off switches. The black cap is the burn cap. It sets how dark your darkest pixels are allowed to get. Move the black cap to the right and you're saying, do not let anything get darker than this. Translation for the laser, maximum burn is capped. Push it too far right and shadows lift. You lose punch, like taking the steak off the hottest part too soon. The white cap is the no burn cap. It sets how bright your brightest pixels are allowed to get. Move the white cap to the left and you're saying, do not let anything get wider than this. Translation for the laser, there's always at least some burn in the highlights. You're limiting no burn. Push it too far left and highlights darken. Faces can muddy, like never letting any part of the steak leave the grill. Between the caps, everything is remapped linearly. The caps only limit the extremes. They don't toggle the laser directly. A quick practical range on wood. Black cap around 5 to 20 to avoid crushed, sooty blacks. White cap around 235 to 255 depending on how much true white you want. Want cleaner backgrounds? Raise the white cap toward 255. Want a guaranteed mark everywhere? Lower the white cap a bit. If shadows feel weak, ease the black cap left. If highlights look dirty, ease the white cap right. In steak terms, if the black cap is too far right, you're forbidding a deep sear. The steak never gets that crispy crust. If the white cap is too far left, you never allow raw, even the pink gets time on the grill. Set both just enough and you get a clean sear with juicy detail, not ashes, not sushi. Now a practical test on an image. First, navigate to image-r.com and upload your image. Since we're preparing it for engraving, choose grayscale. I'll crop the image because I don't need the areas on the left and right. Use the handles to select what you actually need and click crop when you're satisfied. After cropping, I'll resize to the final dimensions. I use 318 dpi. Image R has a great feature to find your perfect dpi value. I pinned it in the top right corner. Next, choose the algorithm. Since I'm engraving on birch plywood, I'll pick Kashar wood. That's personal preference, you can use any algorithm, they're all solid. Now, I'll use OneTouch. For portraits like this, I usually disable denoise and sharpen. OneTouch improves shadows and overall lighting automatically. I also use color correction to remove overly dark black spots, for example, in the hair. As you can see, we recover detail there, which is great. On to levels. First, I raise the black cap slightly so the laser won't drive those darkest tones to full burn. There's still a very dark area near her face, so I'll raise it a bit more. Much better. Since there are areas on her chest with basically no dots, I'll lower the white cap so those highlights get a light mark. Great, now we have dots there as well. I'll increase gamma to flatten the midtones a little, which helps the final engraving match better. I'll nudge it a bit more. As you can see in the hair, this yields cleaner detail. Because gamma also affects the chest, I'll readjust levels, mainly the white cap, until those dots return. That looks excellent. No unnecessary shading, no overly dark spots. This will engrave beautifully. I'll download the image as a PNG and we're done in ImageR. Let's import it into the laser software.
Don't worry about a pixelated look, that's just the display, since screens can't show that much DPI at once. If you zoom in or out, it will look fine. For my 80 watt CO2 laser, I use 120 millimeters per second, 15% maximum power, and 1% minimum power. The most important step is to activate the pass through option. If you don't, the software will reprocess the image and ruin our preparation. That's all we need, let's run the file. This is on birch plywood. You'll get beautiful shading and varied brown tones with crisp detail. When it's done, use a soft brush to remove any residue from the engraving. You'll have a clean, well engraved portrait. I hope this helped you understand how Levels works and gives you confidence for your own engravings. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!